today I'm gonna show you a million dollar home worthy of your attention. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notifications for whenever we release new videos. Please excuse the cars, they're just running by. Anyway, on with the tour. So right off the bat, you can tell that this is a massive single detached house and lot. So on the ground floor outside, you've got a four car garage. And here we have the entrance. So the door is made out of solid Nara. You've got a marble landing right over here. And even these, the whole wall is um, made out of granite tiles. Right? So that in itself is pretty cool already. So let's go inside. Upon entering, you'll be greeted by this gorgeous high ceiling living area. Oh, by the way, we've got 548 to 560 square meters in floor area and 250 square meters of lot area. So actually outside, we have a four car garage. Anyway, about this house, it was masterfully crafted and meticulously designed. I'll show you in a minute. So here you have your dining area and your kitchen. And here you have a complete kitchen system, by the way. All right, so you've got things that you could possibly need, such as these. All right, and the hinges, they are made of or by Bloom, if you're familiar. So come over here, if you can see it. Even inside the drawers, you've got these gorgeous um, dividers for your utensils and for your kitchen needs. And even down to what's below the sink. All right. These are the things that you wish your current home had. But here, it's already installed. You don't even have to think about it. All right, oh, um, by the way, you've got here some glass cupboards. It's, it's all nice and sleek, it's all black, but then it also has a lighting system. So if you wanted to look for something, you could easily see it, turn off the light, it's gone. <laughs> and over here, we have a dirty kitchen. This is international level dirty kitchen. So actually, I bet if you were a chef, you would find this really thrilling because everything is stainless steel. Just how it should be internationally, right? But usually this is done in commercial areas. But here it's in your own home. How cool is that? Okay, so out here again, <laughs> you have your dining area, right? And you have this open area. I suppose you could also do your laundry there, but then you have other areas for that anyway. But here you have an extra room. So actually, it's up to you what you want to do with this room. It could be your study, it could be a guest bedroom, it could be another bedroom, it's up to you. And you have here, it's a guest bathroom. Sorry. Here we go. And a bit of shelving system for your needs. All right, let us head up. Talk about design consistency. The granite tiles that you saw outside, those are the same ones in the back. So now they're inside, pretty cool, right? Okay, so down below, we saw some heavy-duty floor tiles, right? Well, here on the second floor and up, we have some heavy-duty wood, wooden planks. Nara, of course. All right, so over here, the first door leads to the master bedroom. All right, but right now, this one specifically is just an anteroom because these two doors, sliding doors, lead to the actual bedroom. So ideally, the only thing you put here is your master's bed, maybe, um, oh, sorry, rather actually in this area, maybe a console table and your television. All right, so leaving out through the other side. Of course, your ante room also has these same um, outlets for your television and whatnot. So again, everything was really thought of. And over here, you have your master walk-in closet. So mirrors everywhere, storage everywhere. And listen to this. See how solid, or hear how solid that is. I love it when things are this well-built. All right, so inside you've got a lot of storage space. And also, that thing is too high. Not a problem though. Because you just pull on this thing, right? Get your clothes, put them back. And then put this back up there. Everything remains neat and in its place. Don't you love it when a house just, you know, makes itself really neat for you so you don't actually mess it up anyway? All right, so here you have the actual toilet and bath. 
You have here a very compact and sleek bathtub, your his and hers sink, and look at this, check this out. We have here an imported toilet. Usually that doesn't really matter, but it kind of matters when it's this smart, right? So clearly this is Japan technology. And of course your enclosed shower. And, uh, shower. <laughs> All right, so on with the other rooms. So back out here in the hall, and unlike other homes where halls usually tend to feel a little claustrophobic, this one does not because of all the open windows and very various like angles that's actually quite unusual in the best way. Right, but here we have a uh, catwalk balcony. So it goes out a little ways over there. So it's up to you what you want to do with that space. And then over here is your second bedroom on this floor. Right, this one is actually not a bathroom. <laughs> it's storage room. It's a storage room. So maybe your old shoes and whatnot, you can store there. And over here, bedroom number two. So you got your ample space and your matching toilet and bath. So what you're going to notice about this project is that all the toilet and baths don't actually look the same. The materials are different. Like for, for this one, for example, light wooded finishes and the toilet area is like this light gray and very textured surface. So I don't know if it translates well to the video, but when you go here, you'll know what I mean. And speaking of things that you have to feel and see for yourself, follow me. So we've got these highly upgraded windows. So these, these aren't just ordinary PVC windows, the ones that you see just about in any house. No. This is actually very, very like, thick and sturdy. Obviously, I can't really show that to you in the video, but once you feel it, you'll know that, okay, it's not ordinary PVC. It's actually thick and textured. And also the windows, these things, Ang ganda ng material nito. They're not like ordinary screen windows that you see in any other home. <laughs> right. Oh, and also, these. Ito yung tipong, you know how when you go inside a home and you feel like, oh, that's gonna break soon. These, uh-uh, <laughs> not at all. Right. On to the third floor. Okay. This floor is actually pretty self-sustaining, and I'll show you in a minute why. Okay, but for now, here you, here you go. You've got this pretty um, generous space, also with its own balcony. And then here, you've got bedroom number three. It's actually bigger than the last bedroom that I showed you. In all honesty, all of these rooms could have been master bedrooms. But of course, the master bedroom is set apart by the fact that it has, a, has its own anteroom, right? Okay, here the walk-in closet, which this time is gray, unlike earlier, right? And here, your toilet and bath. So the layout is also different, but what stays the same is how things were crafted. Walang, there are no sharp edges, you know what I mean? Because sometimes houses tend to be poorly made where when you do this or this, you get like blisters, not here. Right. And over out to the other side of this floor, bedroom number four. So again, you've got ample space and then it has its own walk-in closet and toilet and bath. So again, everything is designed differently in every room and every toilet and bath is unique. Like earlier, the sink was different. It was actually like a podium of sorts. And this one, it's like this sleek built-in one piece, right? right? You also have your maid's quarters. What's very special about this particular maid's quarters is that it's literally a maid's living area. You have her own kitchen, if you will, washing area, her own toilet and bath, and her own bed space. So you've got a gorgeous single detached house and lot with 520 or rather 548 to 560 square meters in floor area and 250 square meters in lot area. It's a five bedroom with a six toilet and bath and four car garage house. 
And what else? The area, I forgot to mention that at the start of the video. It's actually around the area of Don Doña Hemadi. So if you're familiar, you know how convenient this place is. And uh, again, everything is meticulously crafted. All right, so from the Nara entrance to the Nara flooring to the granite tiles, granite countertops, and how everything is just, as they say, makinis to the touch. All right, so if you want to see this for yourself, just go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello.